Hello, everyone on Facebook. I am alive. I am here. I am well. And those of you who know me uh, are probably wondering where I've been. You know, I haven't been on Facebook for a while. And, um, you know, I've had some things going on and, you know, life happens and uh, I'll fill in my story later. Anyway, um, I need to see if people can even see me. Oh, there are some people. Susan Shepard is on. Hi, Susan. Good to see you. Um, Brenda, some of you guys on here. Very, very cool. Okay, so hopefully my internet is working right now. Um, I am back. I am ready to go, and I want to tell you why I am back and what my plans are. So here's the thing. I just got back from traveling. I went back to Nebraska to see, uh, spend some time with my father, who some of you know is in um, an assisted living. He has dementia and uh, it was quite a trip. And uh, I did a lot of driving and I did some flying. And so, you know, you always have a lot of time to, um, to think and brainstorm and, uh, you know, just and read. Um, one of my favorite things to do in the world is listen to audiobooks when I'm driving, especially. And so I listened to a book. Uh, actually, I'm not even quite finished with it. I hope I'm not uh, frozen here. Uh, I started reading it about halfway driving from Southern California to Northern California, and it's called The Magic of Thinking Big. And uh, wow, you know, I'm not even halfway through the book yet but um there's a lot of things that were big aha moments for me personally and uh usually when i'm reading these books i always come up with some big ahas and i learn things um there's books i've read over and over again like think and grow rich for example that's an awesome book to read every so often um let's see there's several other ones jack canfield um and also the law of success there's a lot of great books that it's actually good to read them over and over because you're always at a different part of your life and so you're always going to find something in the book that relates to what you're going through right there at that moment so what i wanted to share with you today is um uh, something that i was listening to actually was this morning and part of my morning routine is to get ready after I get out of the shower and I'm getting ready and doing my hair and makeup and this and that, brushing my teeth. I usually have my phone on and I have it to set to audible. And so let me show you, this is the mat. Oh, it's going to be backwards because I'm on, oh no, it's not the magic of thinking big. I forgot my, I'm on my computer today. So it's by David Schwartz. So highly recommend the book. I put a link to it in, uh, in the title here. So here is my aha for today. This is my lesson for today. And I figured, you know what, what I might start doing here is every time I read something, um, and if I find something that I, I really believe is going to be valuable to you guys, I will come on here and teach a little bit of it. And then if you want to go get the book and read it yourself, you can. Um, uh, but I'm going to try to give you some tips and, and just things that I'm personally learning that I think is valuable, to, especially to business owners. Catherine, awesome. Good to see you. All right. So here is what I'm going to talk about today. So the magic of thinking big. So I also finished another book called Mind to Matter. And oh my gosh, that book blew my mind as well. We don't know. I, I really believe that most people do not understand how what we put in our brains and what we think about is really what can be manifested. So here's the thing, the thing that I was listening to today, the, the magic of thinking big, it's what you're thinking about. How do you see yourself? So do you, when you're going out in the world and you're around, let's say business owners or whatever, and you're, you're in a networking group or you're around a bunch of different people, how do you present yourself? How do you dress? How do you, uh, how do you make yourself look important or successful? How do, you, how do you put yourself out there so people, how do they perceive you back? Okay, so here's the thing. People make an impression, they have a, a certain impression of you within minutes, if not seconds of when they see you. So it's how you, not only just how you dress and how you look or how you put yourself together, but it's how you're thinking. So if you're going into a place or you're going around other people and in your mind, you feel inferior or you don't feel good enough or smart enough or pretty enough or whatever those negative words are, that is how people are going to perceive you. Because what you're thinking about and how you feel about yourself and how you think about that is what is put out there in the universe and 
so you got to really start thinking it's it's really important that you think about how you feel about yourself and what you believe about yourself before you go in somewhere so if you're thinking about yourself as being successful and smart and um and knowledgeable and and successful or whatever it is if you have that in the mind your mind that you are that it's what you're going to put out there and that's how other people are to see you and the chances of you moving up and getting the things that you want in your life are going to be so much better if you're thinking big if you're thinking of uh, of how you are as being successful or or pretty enough or smart enough or whatever those words are that are your triggers for you so my my thing for you today is this and i'm going to try to keep these as short as i can but really try to pay attention to how you are thinking about yourself what are you thinking about um the aha for me really was I, I was telling my friend at lunch today about this book, and um, this is the big aha for today. I will give you an example that, that was for me. So I owned a business. I started from nothing. I built this giant school, right? I did this whole thing. Of course, back when I was doing it, I was just working hard, and I was doing it. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think that it was something that not a lot of people did every day. <laughs> so I didn't really think of myself as being like such a big deal, you know, that I did this. Well. After I sold my business, I joined, well, I was actually toward the end, I joined this big mastermind group. It was a group of a lot of business owners and coaches and speakers and, and people that were on stage and doing all of these things. And um, I kind of went in there thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not as good as they are. I, I'm not as as successful or I'm, I'm not as smart or I'm not as knowledgeable. I don't, I, I haven't been to all of these things or learned all these things that they have learned. So people's perception of me was that I didn't really know that much about that stuff. And they felt like they had to help me. And um, I didn't feel good about myself. I didn't feel like I was at their level. Well, later, after I started getting to know people and I started to feel more confident about myself, I went back and to to the it, we would meet every few months, right? And I started feeling more confident about myself. I started doing Facebook lives. I started t talking to people. I started realizing, oh my gosh, I built some, I built a business from nothing. Like I had no money. I didn't know what the heck I was doing, and I built a big five thousand square foot learning center. I had employees. I mean, I did this by myself. And I never realized that, hey, that's kind of something. Like I did something that's pretty, pretty cool to a lot of other people. So I started standing up straighter. I started dressing different. Um, sorry about my cat back there. Um, I started just, just believing that, hey, you know what? I'm not, they're not better than I am, or they're not smarter than I am. I'm right up there with them, and I can actually add value to their lives as well. So anyway. I kind of rambled, I feel like, but um, go get this book, The Magic of Thinking Big. There's so much more to it. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm just at the beginning, but I want you to go out there and really start believing in yourself and put it out there. Even if you don't believe it, even if you don't believe that you are um, at the level that you feel like you should be, pretend. Just pretend. Go out there and just pretend. Pretend that you are the successful a uh, person that you are, you're in the part of your life where you're supposed to be, act as if, as if you're already there. I highly recommend you go out and do that. So go out and think bigger. I am going to keep reading and I'm going to come back and uh, hopefully I will try to do these once or twice a day if possible and I'll give you some more tips and tricks. So go out there and get that book. I left the link right there. Um, hi, hey there, we got some more people in there. Thank you guys for coming. All right, I, I tend to kind of get a, a little AD. I don't pay attention to who's on the string screen. So hi, you guys, thanks for coming and um, I will see you later or tomorrow. Go out there and get the book. See you soon.